My name's Dazzle Big Dog. This is my story. You'll have all heard of Grummet's Worldwide Story on YouTube. Well, this is the story of my life. This is the story of the Dazzle, the Big Dog. Better than we call him now. So then, Big Dog, where did you grow up? I grew up in a council estate in Stockton, as he said. Tell us about school. Tell us about, tell us about your school life. Well, school was... <laughs> I loved it, but like I never listened. It was just I just went for a laugh. And like I nicked off once <coughs> and only once. And we sat like everyone nicked off they got caught. Yeah, they never got caught, you know what I mean? But not me. Set off and there was a big field in the walkway over the back, so we <laughs> so we set off next minute they heard someone shout, Oi, teacher. Oh, he must be the fittest teacher going. So we just started running, but he wasn't stopping. So we get down to the walkway, we set up walking. And we just seen him coming, so I hid in the bush. But like, I never hid very well. Next minute he's gone. You better get out of there, now I can see your feet. <laughs> Come down now, I can see your feet, so I get out this bush. Comes down, he grabs me by the scruff of the neck. You better get back in school. So I never done that again. I'm going to tell you a story about my first wife. We got her and all that, but like, obviously it never worked out, so... Well, this time, she blamed me for, for pinching £30 in the bank card. Well, I'd just come in from work, she'd raise up 30 quid in the bank card. I, said, I didn't know nothing about it. What are you going on about? You do. You've, 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 got, you've had it. I said, I haven't. We had a big argument. Shot us out. She ended up with my sisters. For about, it must be about four or five days. Then she ended up taking us back. All well, forgot about. About three months later, the dryer breaks. And the lad on the corner, the scrap man, shouts him over. He just want this dryer. He said, yeah, 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 get it. I said, well, come in and get it. So he comes in. Him and another one. Picks this dryer up. What's underneath? 30 quid in the bank, and she'd stashed it. I said, I'm saying to her, I said, I got the blame for that. I got fucking shot out four or five days, never even got an apology. <laughs> I never said, said, sorry, you know. Oh, you're some boy, like, you're some boy. Where, where, where are we at the next? Hang on. Where, where, sorry, is it? So at 18, you got a job for the council. Yeah. How long did you have the council for? Oh, about 12 years. 12 years of the council. Tell us about the council. Like on and off seasonal. Yeah. So the seasonal, what, what does that mean? Like you just work from like summer to winter. winter like yeah. all the like way through the like, summer like, when the grass yeah, grows. Like yeah, like, like, like the same last week, yeah. Yeah. Just tell us about your stories about your council job. Well, where do you want me to start? Yeah, I was married then. This is when I was married. So... Wakes up, I said, my wife said, oh, your bait's in the fridge. So I thought no more about it, gets me bait out, gets me flask. She goes to work. Well, me and me charge, and used to swap sandwiches, do it like break time. So with sandwiches, like, make a, like, proper ham salad with tomatoes and everything in, proper, proper sarnies. So this day he said, well, right, will you swap? <laughs> He's swapping sarnies, but I went, yeah, 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 why not? So I just passed him, I didn't, I didn't know what. So I passed him the set and he passed me his. So I'm, munch, I'm munching into his, fucking loving it. Next minute he goes, what the fuck's this? I said, what? So she said it was ham sandwich. <laughs> he just opened the two slices of bread like that. And just one slice, a wafer thin, and a picture of a <laughs> A picture of a dinosaur in it. I thought I'll fucking kill it. Gets back home. I'm saying, what was that in me sandwiches? Well, she bursts out laughing. I'm thinking, you could have said you showed me right up. They'll drive past me all day, fucking shouting down or so on. I said, like, couldn't make it up. What about the cubby job you done? Oh, yeah. Well, I was, done. I was working, well, I used to work on the little grass verges outside of people's houses, doing around trees and that. And this woman pulled me up and she went, Hey, you mate, where? Will you trim my garden down? I'll pay you. So I thought, oh, nice one. 
So we'll go V jump. So I've started to win the garden. So the front, the front wasn't that big, but it's quite high. So I strims that down, goes on the back. The back, back was quite big. Took me about 20 minutes, half an hour to do. But the lads were waiting outside, I'd seen me doing it, thought, oh, he's got a few quid there. So I can, does it all, strims it all down to the, to the ground, goes to the door, knocks on the door, this woman comes out, she goes, just went, there you go, son, get yourself, get yourself a drink. So I'm there, look like that. She gave me 20 pence. <laughs> so I goes back to the van, and I'm all thinking, oh, I wonder how much she's given me and all that. So I goes, gets in the back of the van, thinking, look, cool cap. So when I want to give you then? And I just put my hand out like that. Hey, well, we're all laughing, we're all fucking crying, we're laughing. It's like that will teach you, won't it? 20 pence. Them days, it'll still be 20 pence, won't it? So it wouldn't no. Have been, wouldn't have been a lot, would it? I'm just trying to say When like, you got you the bottom of that little hole. No. Pop what you got years ago. What about the trailer? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, the one the lads at work. Every time a bit of petrol was like spilt, he used to always set the light and goes, well, what, what did he used to say? Wasted your summer, I can't remember what he used to say. Excess, bad excess petrol or something, or what, excess fumes. So this day he'd done it, we had it on the, had it on a big trailer where they used to drive, like, drive the glass cutters on. And a bit of petrol had like, spilt out. So he just, but it was empty trailer, by the way. So he just said, hey, you're bearing excess fuel. Shut the light on it. Way, well, the full trailer went up. <laughs> it was in flames for about half an hour. That's when all the wood and everything about how we put it out and that. All the wood had gone. It was just the frame, like the metal frame of the trailer. He nearly got sacked with that as well. That was funny. So it was one about the uh, dinner break, the football. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, on our dinner break, we also always played some volleys over Little Boy Park in Thornaby. But like, you used to get half an hour dinner, but we always used to like take the piss. So we're there, like, I think it was about one, dinner was at 12, obviously. So we're there, but one o'clock still playing. But I'm swinging on these goalposts and that. So the gaffer phones us up, goes, Daz, where are you now? Well, I'm not going to say I'm playing football. So I said, I'm just at the back, back of Little Boy Park, in the back of the garages. He said, well, all the fucks are swimming on the, swinging on the goal post. He's, he's over the other side of the field, like, watching us. I said, he said, get back the fucking way. I said, I'm going now, I'm going. Yeah, you know, he did bollock as well, but go back. Don't take the piss. So did you keep your job, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He was all right with you, boss, buddy? Yeah, he was old. Right, where were we? Tell us about the the Christmas party what they had for 30 year. Oh yeah. So the council had a Christmas party for 30 year run. Tell, <laughs> tell us about that. Yeah, well, he'd laid us off the the, the boss was a man, gaffer. It was a gaffer, like a big gaffer on the council. Well the year before he said to us, like, he'll keep us on over the winter. So we sat there, put our head down, grafted. And when it come to it, there was no money, like to let, like keep us on. So like really, they just like laid us off. So the year later, the Christmas party. This is the year later. Yeah, I wasn't even invited, never even been to the council. There's a big party, and someone says, "Oh, the council does in there." I think it was a Lampton Castle. So, oh, is it? I said I might turn up there. Ends up turning up half cut. So it was all the lads and all the lads, all right, all right, I haven't seen you for a while and all that. Next minute, sat with the lads and like the, the gaffer come in all laid us off. So I sat there, so I get up, well, me, me boss, <laughs> last day from the year before, just looked as if to say, oh, fucking hell, gets up, goes, so I said, gets over his hand, he's going, all right, thanks, like, thanks for working for us and all that. I said, all right, mate, cheers for sacking us and all that. And he sat there, he just looked at us. I said, you could have shoved the job up your ass anyway and just walked out. And that was it, no more Christmas parties after they stopped. <laughs> so my yeah. son works the Christmas yeah. parties now. My son works for the council. And they say that the Christmas parties now, 
a big council <laughs> because of Big Dog. Like, the same boss is on now, who was on when Big Dog worked for him. Like, when he was, he was like, he's still there now, the, the, like the main boss. <sighs> well, the, you told me the time when you fell asleep and they're all looking for you. Oh, yeah, they dropped me off, dropped me off for me dinner in Stockton. So I, I think I was going to the bank, I'm sure it was paid. Eh? So I go to the bank, get me money out. So I thought, no, I'll have me dinner on the Joe Riverside Bank, the grass, grass yeah, bit, yeah, near yeah. the police station. So I have me dinner on there, like a sunny day. Next minute, I wake up, quarter to three. <laughs> we finished it half past, but we only worked on Boat House Lane over the road. So I walked all the way back from, from where I was to Boat House Lane, gets to the office. Where the fuck have you? <laughs> They've been travelling about all day looking for you. I said I fell asleep on that. <laughs> no, they were laughing like, but it was, yeah, I thought it was quite funny. Uh, so after that job, was that, was there any more about the council? You went for the council? No. I'm just trying to look now. I'm what trying what to think. Because we, you... That's what I'm saying. Memory's not as good as it was, you know. I'm surprised. Hang on. Let's have a look. So you said after the council, for, so you had the 12 year at the council, then you went to Chris Factory. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was all right there. Like, well, I went there. I was like, doing all right. And one day, one of my mates goes out for a fag. But well, he used to, he, he used to always like have a bit of like solid blow. So he said to me, <laughs> He had snapped it in half, he said he had chew on that, he said we can't smoke it, they'll be able to smell it. So he sits there, chews on it, never thought no more of it. He said, oh, watch out for the gaffers with the hard hats on. Well, that was it, that put me on a puzzle straight away. So I'm sat there working. So goes for our break, just turns round to one of the corridors. He's these two, man and, man, and, man and woman walking up with two hard hats. I thought, oh, for fuck's sake, puzzle straight away. So where the flavor, where they put the flavouring, I walks up the steps to the flavouring. Oh, well, they only walked up the same set. Ah, I'm thinking, for fuck's sake, walks down, they walk down after me. I'm thinking, they know, they know, they know I'm on, <laughs> they know I'm on some it. it. was the last time I'd done that. Uh, so was that the end of the uh, Chris Factory job? Yeah, yeah. Was that the end, end, end of that one? Yeah. So where do you go off the Chris Factory? Me? I would have partied for... A few, yeah. Well, I partied while I was working, really. It's a pure part animal. Yeah, just... What about NIFCO? What about NIFCO after that? Oh, that, was, that was quite serious. That, that was, was not like... Nothing, uh, nothing, nothing really nothing to, to laugh about say about, no. Right, so we'll talk... So we'll talk to tell me about your partying years. This, yeah. this could get interesting. <laughs> this could get interesting now about these party years. Uh, oh, no, we'll start off with... You, yeah. When you got married. Well, what do you mean when I got married? Well, south, but when you got married and you... Oh, yeah, you, well... Your wedding day. Well, my wedding day. In the registry office, we all sat there. Well, me, 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 me ex-wife, well, my first wife. Sat there taking our vows and that. Well, my nieces wound up, my dad up. And my dad was like, doesn't like getting wound up. So he's winding him up and winding him up. So halfway through the vows, he sat to fuck off! <laughs> I'm sat down thinking, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, my wife then said, she was giggling. I'm, I'm looking at her clear, I'm thinking, fucking behave now. He's up there and he shouts it again, I'm thinking, oh. And like the, the aero manager, she's looking over, I'm thinking, what the fuck is showing up this is. So comes out of there, goes to the, goes to the, the, the door. Where did you have to do the milk No, the Rosie. Rosie, Rosie pub, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, goes to the Rosie pub. Next minute, goes in, sits down. Well, my dad, my, my dad was buzzing now and got married. So, sits down, goes and sits with my dad. So, he sits there and he starts crying. And he arrives up and says, oh, dad, she's not that bad. <laughs> 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 she, she fucking punches me in the eye. So, my dad said, oh, I'm only kidding. And he's going, fuck off you. Yeah. Tell him what they're putting your wedding cards. Oh. 
So, so big, uh, I was big, opening big, wedding cards and it was like 10 bags of whiz. Big Dog said he was a partner in one of his years ago. So when he opened his wedding cards in front of like all the uh, people and that, what was falling out? Yeah, 10 bags of whiz and like money and 10 bags of whiz with it. So, <laughs> so as I would think, all oh, the best man as well. Yeah. Hey, the speech. Sit there, oh, it's time for the best man's speech. I looked out the window, there he is, fucking off in a taxi, going, <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> well, you'll have to do it. Oh, so I just said, All right, all right, thanks for coming. Off me note. Thanks for coming, tell her. <laughs> and, like, just give him the mic back. Did you go on that night? Yeah, yeah, went home. End up getting to, getting to sleep and that. Next minute, knock at the door in the morning. My brother in law said, Dad's. You lend me a sup, you've got money in there in the cards. I said, I don't know, I said, I'll have to ask her. I said, where are you going, like? He said, I'm just going to the pub for a few. I said, hang on, give us ten minutes. So he comes in. So I go to the bedroom, she's still in bed. I said, hey, John, if uh, you can have a sup, my brother-in-law. He went, yeah, of course he can. I said, all right. I said, he's just moving a fridge and a cooker. I said, he wants an hand, and I've going to give him an hand. How long are you going to be? I said, about an hour at the most. But don't be long, I said, I won't. So goes out, goes the pub, the last girls in eight o'clock at night, fucking minging. <laughs> like that. He thought, she, said, oh, she said, I can see where this is fucking going. Yes. <laughs> so that was his first wife. Yeah, that would be his first wife, yeah. So then. They know about my second wife, don't they? Yeah, yeah, we'll get on that. The, we'll get on that bit near the end because that was more thing one. So. Uh, right. So what about uh, moving on? To the two have knocked out. Oh, that was uh, so, it. So if you, you, everyone knows Big Dog's missing a tooth, <laughs> well, this is the story. Right. Start from the beginning. Right. Goes out my mate stag mate. But goes to bother. Everything all right, what a good night. Sit there having a good drink, thought no more of it. Pardon me. Someone went, <laughs> someone went, oh wait, we'll go back to stock, we'll go to the mall. Right over oh, there, she gets in a minibus, goes back to stock, and queuing outside the mall, and everyone's getting in, gets to me, I have trainers on. Whoa, stopped us. Can't get any with them on. I said, oh wait a minute, they said, it's a stack night. I said, Ben, up No, cannot get in with, stack, uh, with shoes on. Uh, with trainers on, sorry. And they're all coming out saying, Oh, wait, we'll just go to the Rebels. I went, No, no, no. I said, oh, wait, We'll just go to the Rebels. We all said, No. I said, You'll go enjoy your night. I said, I'll be all right. Fucking last words. What? I said, Just enjoy your night. I'll be all right. I'll go to the Rebels. Right over oh, there. So I was just walking down Stock Knight Street. Must be about. 20 yards away from Rebel, uh, from Rebels, near the Debenhams. This lad come from nowhere, he's running from Rebels, running away from someone. Out the blue, just whacked just straight in the mouth. Bang, well I'm knocked out on the floor. On my own, never thought I'd walk, I don't know how long I was there for, but I walk up, walk in blood dripping down on me, on me top and everything. Noticed my tooth had gone. So, Gets up, walks out to Rebels, oh, the bouncer, the other bouncer in there. So I'm just about to walk in, he's going, oh, well, Darren, I said, you can't get in like that. I said, oh, I'm all right, man. Sat there, one of my mates come out, are you all right? I said, yes, and the one let me in. He's going, Darren, just go and change your top and come back, he can get in. I said, oh, wait, man, I'll get in. I, I think I just went home and went to bed. Woke up next day, so when you realise, I'm like, that there, like, big, big gap in my mouth. I thought, for fuck's sake. So tell them, look, tell us about when you, they went to fix, when you went and got your toe fixed. <laughs> yeah, so I goes in. I was in the dentist. Made an appointment, like, they'd done all the x-rays and all that, and, like, went in to get one fitted. It was like a screwing one. So I goes, gets it in, never thought no more about it, got a nice one done. Gets home, it's out there, the boy, they check in the mirror. What it was, it looked like it was about that much bigger than like further down than the other one. I thought, well, they'll love, they'll snap it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Look like fucking Roger Rabbit. <laughs> I swear to God. Well, they'll snap the fucking thing out. So I had a screw sticking out there for I don't know how many years. But the thing is, then when I went back to the dentist, I said, well, where's that gone? I said, it's too big. I said, snapped it out. He said, well, you have to wait 48 hours for your gums to, like, because they'll have been sw swollen up. He said, it had, like, went back into place. I said, well, you never told <laughs> you never told me that. People just call me screw tooth for about two, yeah. Screw, down, yeah. screw tooth. So that's a story behind the, uh, behind the tooth missing. <laughs> so no. Stay tuned because these next parts get very interesting. Uh, very, very interesting. Stay tuned for these ones. So tell us about did you do any exams in school? Yeah, I don't know my exams. Yeah. But like I never done very well. I got a couple of days, a couple of fails, and my English exam I thought I'd do alright in, but I never read the top of it. <laughs> it said pick a subject and write about it. So I never read that, I just wrote three little paragraphs about every subject. <laughs> 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 when, they, when they read it and all that, it was just, that was just a big fail. Oh. So you filled your exams? Yeah, well, not all of them, I've got my, I've got my maths. You've you, you, you got your maths, that's the, that's the main thing. So what about, like, where were we? We started off on that. Oh, when you were age, age nine, were there? We'll go back to age nine when you were the fire, we have a bro dog. Oh, yeah. Are we on now? Yeah, we are, aren't we? Right. Are. Well, me and my cousin, Andy, you know, bro dog, off uh, TikTok. We were just messing about on the back. The lead must have thought it funny, of, like building a fire behind the shed. Sit there, uh, well, it gets out of control. And if he's watching, he'll be laughing now. So, gets out of control, so he goes running in first. He's going, Mum, Mum, Dad not set a fire behind the shed. So I goes in, he'd already told him, he never even gave me a chance to explain, or I'd cross him up. Smack right round my head. I'm going, what well, have I told you about playing with fire? I'm, I'm crying my eyes, I'm going, oh, my head. yeah, it's him, it's him, he's driving, yeah, don't fuck, oh, don't be blaming him. Oh, that was a good one, though, actually. So we left school that... Yeah, we left school at what? Se I mean, 16, 17. 17, yeah. Yeah, so what happened at 17? Oh, I got my first job at Brophy's. <laughs> and uh, I didn't know this, but the induction was shot the new one on the... What is it? Uh, Joe Carriage Way litter picking all day. So I'm there, must have been freezing as well, freezing cold. Must have been there about an hour and a half up and down this, like, well, halfway down this, uh, the A174 it was. Litter picking. Next minute, the boss pulls up in the van. He said, hey, you silly little cunt. He said, get in. I said, what's the matter with you? He said, the, the fucking idiots are having your life. I said, what do you mean? He said, they do it to everyone. So he gets me in the van. They're having the 10 o'clock outside and somewhere in Thornaby. Pulls up. He said, you pack of them, pack of idiots. No, they're all just laughing at us. I'm going, you cunts. And there's another one. We've been, <clears throat> been sat up on the pills and they're all right. Well, one of the lads was going to, he'd been sat with us and he went home early and he's coming round the next day to change a life fitting in his front room. Pardon me. So, we still sat there in the morning when he turns up. Sat there watching the telly. I don't know what. So he gets up, he goes, right, do you want this doing? So his mate goes, oh yeah. So this is, we were watching the telly, so this is a funny bit about it. Well, my mate's kitchen door was like halfway, like through, halfway on his front room. So the lad gets a chair out the kitchen. Stands on it, just like he said, show they let these off. The mate's like looking at it, shaking his head, looking at us. He said, yeah, of course it's off. We well, watching the telly again. Sits there and he sat, fucking about with it. He was mixing on the <laughs> He just flew off the chair, it, through the kitchen, bounced off the cooker, hit the cooker. He could, he could walk and then his hair stuck up like this. What the fuck have you done to us? <laughs> he said, we're watching the telly, you daft <laughs> He 
Krass, ich leg mich so. Ich guck jetzt da genau, weil ich sag, Gott, ich kann auch fucked up. So, I got my mates one night. We all, we all used to go and have a drink and a smoke and play on the computer. So we sat there just normal, like, drink, smoke, computer. Well, we used to stay up till about fucking, about six, seven o'clock on fucking football manager or something. So we sat there, well, I was staying there, is I was sleeping on the set day. We took on about half six. He said, I'm going to bed. So he really fucked off to bed, I fucking got my head down on the set, eh? Just go to sleep. All you have is doof, doof, doof. Get up, you ginger crazy cunt. <laughs> the fuck's that? He sat there. He sat there, like, he's like, he must have fell asleep. What, what's going on? He sat there, and he looks out his bedroom, window downstairs, flat, obviously. There's, there's me mate with a bottle of cider. Get up, you fucking lazy bastard, it's seven o'clock. He opens the window, he said, yes, seven o'clock in the morning, you fucking idiot, you get the... <laughs> I was crying. Come up, come back in and take tea. I was like, you fucking off your nut, yo. So. About four or five years into my marriage. Yeah, it was going. It wasn't going very well, actually. We were arguing all the time. So I, so I obviously am... Anything to get out the house. So I'm going out party with my mates. So this day goes out. We end up having a couple of pills. So I goes back. Goes back in. And like, we're not talking really. And the brother's sat there. And she goes to me, you're going to have to take him to the hospital. Yeah, get him sectioned. He said he's got, he's getting bad thoughts going through his head. I said, what do you mean? He said, he's getting bad thoughts going through his head. He said, he's not right. He said, really, you need sectioning? I said, I can't go to the hospital like this. He said, well, you can't go by yourself. He said, the kids are in bed. I said, do you go with him? He said, I'm not going with him. So a big argument. So I said, right, are we then? So I told him, are we then? We'll go to the hospital. So he walks all the way to the hospital. I'm off me nut. What have you had? Yeah, I've had three pills. So you had three pills off yeah. his nut, yeah? Yeah, I'm off me nut, really. Yeah. And what you're saying is. <laughs> so walking, walking to the hospital... Goes in the hospital, I'm sat there, I'm thinking, they know I'm on it, my eyes must have been like that. So goes goes the counter, I said, he I said he's having bad thoughts, like doing stuff and that to himself. I said, I think he needs sectioning. Uh, thinking what took his name, I said, oh, take a seat, we'll get someone to come and see him. Right over then, goes, sits down, his nurses are walking past, I'm like that with my face, I'm thinking, uh, they know I'm on summit, they must do, get all puzzled and that. So we sat there about 10 or 15 minutes. He goes to me, Daz, I'm going for a fag. I said, right, oh, then. So I'm sat there, like, oblivious to all this. Must have been a good 15, 20 minutes. Never even clicked on. Nurse come out, shouting his name. Sat there, I said, oh, hang on a minute. I think he's outside having a fag. Goes out, it's fucked off. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm fuming. I said, well, I don't know where he's gone. So they've phoned the police, his helicopter's looking for him. He's over the school field in the bushes, thinks he's Bear Grylls. <laughs> so I goes back filming with them, saying, said, we got there. I said, well, I've been sat there laughing, I've been just fucked off and left me. So where's he gone? I said, how do I know? Next minute, two days later, they caught him over the school field in the bush. And they still never sectioned him, he got out the day after. I thought, well, I'm going to so that's where it started going wrong. That's where it started going wrong, yeah. So then you end up getting a divorce. Yeah, we end up getting divorced. And then you become a party animal. Oh, yeah, that's when it just like, no, when I went and threw a bit of a bad patch, so I got divorced because I wasn't waking up with the kids. Yeah, so you went from... And like, I went like proper down, I, I, I felt like I had bad thoughts going through my head. Yeah, so you were down yourself. Yeah. So what happened after all that? Oh, then I'm just I had bad thoughts and like, Loads of shit happened and that. And after about a month later, sorted myself out. Not about three months later, actually, it was. Tell a lie. So, like, sorted myself out, all my mates and that were there enough for us. And I just, like, just started. Just going out, drinking, 
pills, acid, staying up for days, staying up for days on end with MD, MD, MDA. Yeah. yeah, anything I was taking. But we used to go to uh, my mates. Yeah. This time we goes, he picked us up. So we goes back to Wiz. Because we're going back to Wiz first, because he, he had the pills in his house. Going back to Wiz, this lass is on his doorstep. But I've never seen it before. I said, who's that? She goes, oh, I met her yesterday. She said, uh, she gave crashed the funeral. So I thought, oh, when can we go to here? So he pulls up in the car. So he, he's thinking like she's all right, isn't it? So he goes in his, takes a couple of pills and that. She has a couple. Next minute, but we used to go for a drive and that drove us more. Like, go for a drive, like, walk to the beach and, like, sit there and, like, have a trip or whatever you do and have a smoke. So the next minute, <laughs> we both sat in the front, she sat in the back. The next minute, this last thing like, just starts coming over and touching me leg and like, <laughs> swear down, okay. Starts touching me leg and like trying to climb over. Well, we made pushing like he's the driver, pushing him back over. He's going, there's no dog in here, you no dog in over here. I was like, well, I'm laughing me nut off of him, I'm just crying. He's going, behave, man. Then she's crying, and she's sitting there, and she's over my shoulder, like, trying to touch me bits. He's going, right, and he's shoving her down. He said, right, we're going back. They fuck up, I sat there, she's going, right, and she's, on the, on the way back, she's going, well, you're not getting out when you get back. We both go, but don't fucking want them. Don't want them, you're not getting out. All the way back, you're not getting out, you know, you get back. So I never thought of more of it. So me and him, me and him goes in the front room when we get back. She goes to the toilet. So we sat there, open as I can. We sat there having a drink. So I get up, goes to the toilet, gets up, goes to the toilet. There she is, door open, stark bollock naked in his bed. <laughs> right, stark bollock. So I goes to the toilet, goes back, sits back in the room, I said. Chris, I said, you want to get in there? I said, she's fucking naked there in your bed. He's going, you what? I said, she's naked there in your bed. She said, I'm not going in. She said, you go in. I said, all right then. I <laughs> <coughs> 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 went in. I went in. Like, she was like a, like a cardboard cut out, like, on the best shot. Goes in, like, sat there thinking, I went like that, throw me hand. And, like, I thought, oh, what's that? And looked. One leg was there, and the other one wasn't. She hadn't shaved one leg. So I, thought, I said, oh, I said, what? She said, oh, I never shaved that leg. So we called her every leg. So, <laughs> next minute, I goes back in the room after I'm finished. She jumped out of his window. He lived in a bungalow. Jumped out of his window, pinched his... <laughs> pinched his trainers off the bedroom, jumped out the window and fucked off. So he goes in, he goes, where the fuck she's got? Where the fuck she's got? I don't know. I'm saying, I don't know. And about a week later, we have another party, she comes in. So he's shouting, where the fuck's my traders? And she said, what, you're on about your traders? He said, you pinch me traders, that thing. But like, I had an order, which is the wrong thing to do. And she went in the kitchen, you know, she was going to boil a, boil a kettle and tip it over us. Someone took it off her. I thought, oh, I felt a bit sorry for her then, like, but like there was, there was something lacking. If you're going to get crash your funeral, didn't even know anyone. One just went in, went into it, yeah. Yeah, just yeah, just goes. <laughs> uh, so, so what about the? Uh, Everyone pulled me up, you know. Remember where we live. Uh, so what about the time when you were went with uh, the shop with a four o'clock, a four o'clock? Oh shop? yeah, four out, yeah. We had an acid. We've been drinking all night, must be about half two, three o'clock in the morning, tripping off our box. So we'll get to, it goes at four o'clock, shops open at four o'clock in the morning, obviously. So we make get there. Uh, and like, I'm saying, well, don't be laughing when you get in there. He's going, well, don't you, me, I'm going, I won't. Opens the door. Well, I burst out laughing, so 
he shuts the door. He said, but I told you not to laugh. I said, well, you go in. So he goes in, he bursts out laughing. I said, we well, must be there about 20 minutes when the bloke come running out. I just fucking get them. <laughs> So I goes in, picks his part of James, get oh that that jump we he's getting saved. Right? And I picks his porno mag up my porno thing up and just starts reading the reading the stories out of it. And he's looking, he's looking at me, the bloke's looking at me as well, he's thinking, who's this queer cut here? And he just shot us out anyway, he does save us, not even got a drink. Just put your stuff down and fuck off out the show. <laughs> <laughs> then about 45 minutes. Uh, what about when you got spiked with it in, in one, of the, one of the pubs? Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't me. It was one of the lads. Yeah, tell us about that one. Yeah. He'd been, been up all night, obviously, on the pills. And it was like, you just get him in a bag. So, been up all night. About 11 o'clock, we just go to our local pub. We had two left. So, we go to the pub. Gets old pints, sits down. Oh, there's me, my mate, and like another lad who was with us. Another lad who we sat with. So me, me and my mate got all the pills out, took them, put the bag on like on the table, sort of thing. Next minute, the other lad picks the bag up, and they're all the dust at the bottom, tips it in the other lad's pint. I said to him, saying, you can't do that. He's gone, oh, I'll be all right. I said, you just can't do that. So he comes, next his pants, like, really fast because he was going for his dinner. I sat there, I said, no, you fucking lunatic. Never thought no more of it, he fucks off. Because he was taking them on the night with us, so, like, he wasn't really being spiked. He, he knew what the one was, but, like, he didn't know he was having it that time of day. So, never thought no more of it, so he fucks off for his dinner. And one of the lads who we were sat with on the night, he'd just come in the pub. Never, never knew nothing about it. So he comes in, he gets a pant, all right, all right. And he's just about to sit down, never even had a drink. Well, a lad who took, like, who drank his pant and fucked off for his dinner, his daughter come running in. Slapped the lad who just sat down with, who never had a clue <laughs> what had happened. Slapped him, he says, like, oh, what the fuck's that for? He's going, what have you done to me dad? He's got an ambulance there and that for him. He's going, I haven't got a fucking clue what you're going on about. Well, the lad's on the other side laughing the nuts off. The best thing about it, she slapped him, moaning like fucking all that. They were going to have a fight, him and his daughter, like my mate and his daughter. Sat there, like everything calmed down and that, she fucked off. Next thing about the lad come in, 20 minutes late, it gets a pound from the bar, comes and sits with us. I thought he was in dog fucking an hour ago. <coughs> Tell them the time when they put one in your talk yet. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, it was years ago, that. Yeah, fucking all sat in the, like our local pub rebels. Well, we used to cost 15 quid a pop then. So I sit there. We goes, goes to the toilet. Must have dropped one in my drink. So, it was like someone had seen him. Like, they must have thought they'd been a good Samaritan that comes back from the toilet, sits down, nudges us like that. He goes, does. I said, what? He said, they just spiked you there. I said, have they? He said, yeah. I nudged him like that. I said, hey, cheers, mate. I said, you just saved me 15 quid. I'm a fucking boy, So now we're going to talk about our first experience of Benidorm. Right. <laughs> so we ended up getting a boat in the hotel Bonavista. So we both, uh, oh, you were, you had a caravan, didn't you? Oh, you think you're a caravan? Yeah, I'm in a caravan. I'm in a caravan yeah. at the time. But we, st we, st we stayed in the Bonavista anyway. We stayed anywhere. in the Bonavista. So we, yeah. But the caravan park was miles away, so we got hired two mobility scooters. So this morning, gets up, nine, about nine, ten o'clock. He's snoring his loaf off. I thought, hey, fuck it, I'm going out for a couple of, I'm going out for an hour or so, have a couple of drinks. So I get on my mobility scooter there. Fucks off, couple of pints. I thought I'll head back now. So, just just coming back, gets to the Joker's Bar, if anyone knows where the Joker's Bar is. Just goes down this curb, goes down the curb. <laughs> and they just start beeping, beep, beep, beep. I'm like, fuck's sake. I'm... 
So I'm saying that, but I've said, what's wrong with this? He's going, oh, it's, it must be out of charge, mate. Never thought no more about me. Like, For fuck's sake. So I'm setting off, I'm pushing it. I think, fucking hell. Must be about 35 degrees or something. Yeah, it was July, like a... Yeah, like it was up, June, June or July, yeah. it was like a red month. So I'm pushing this mobility <clears throat> scope to well, it's fucking... It's like pushing a car. And I'm struggling like fuck. Must have took me about two and a half hours, three hours. Sweat pissing off us, fuming I was. Pushes it in the, into the Bonavista. But I'm locked in at this time, by yeah, the way. Yeah, he's, he's sat up fuming with me, thinking where the fuck's he been. Because at the time, you, in the Bonavista, if you lock the door... You have to have the key there. He double key, locked it. Uh, yeah. yeah, he double locked it, so you had to have a key to, to get, get out. out. Like you had to have a key to yeah. get out, and he took the key with him. So I'm locked in the fucking room. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, so I couldn't get out. But I should have been back like, yeah, before yeah, you got yeah, up. Yeah, but it, it, well, yeah. I would have been if yeah. like it, that, all this shit never happened. So yeah. I'm sweating my balls off, absolutely bouncing. So I'm fucking gets his mobile, gets push it in the car back, gets in the lift, goes up the room, opens the door. So he sat there fuming. Where the fuck have you been? I said, where the fuck have I been? So I'm, I'm bouncing, he's bouncing. Me, me him a fucking half fight. I, I said, I'm fuck. fucking push that fucking thing, fucking three mile. I said, it. I swear I was like pushing a fucking car. Well, where the fuck have you been up all day? I said, hey, I've run myself on me way fucking dog. We had a big brawl. Yeah, a big brawl in the Bonavista. Yeah, in the Bonavista. So he sat there, gets over that. So goes downstairs. He checks, checks it like that. He said, it's fully charged enough, cunt. I said, well, it's fucking... I said, it's that beatment. He said, why don't you take the handbrake off? I said, where's the handbrake at the back? Ah. Oh. You push it over your finger. <laughs> take the handbrake off. More, more oh, I, I felt sick. You could push it with your finger. I swear down, I felt sick. I was sat there, I was like, you fucker. So at this uh, time... <laughs> When we used to go, like, so that was the mobility scooter one. So I, I had to get tablets off my doctor to fly. So me and him ended up on the plane singing, like, singing, Oh, what a night. Oh, that would work it. The, 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 the video is actually on our TikTok page. It's Ben Dong underscore Grumlick and does a big dog. Ben Dong. I was just drunk. Yeah, he, 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 he was pissed. It was night, night flight. He was pissed. I was fucking. I had my tablets of the doctor and I had a drink as well because I didn't like flying. So I get home. Next day, looks at me phone. Me and him singing, Oh, what a night on, on the plane. <laughs> you went to cap back Yeah, me, front. Me, I, I'd be cap back to the front <laughs> singing, Oh, what a night. Everyone's looking at us. I'm thinking, What the fuck is going Like, what have we done here? So I put it on. It, the TikTok was on at the time. So I put it on Facebook. It went absolutely fucking yeah, went off the scale. Yeah. Like, Five Now I'm down there. Oh, well, I'm oh, there. Now I'm going to be December, back to 63. Uh, like, sing like that, like... So, so while, as, while we're on Benidorm... Is that where we fly back to Olympo? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so we fly as... as we, this is like, I, like when I say every, every time we go away to Benidorm... It's a drama. I mean, every time we go to Benidorm, is a drama. So we fly back into Liverpool Airport... <laughs> Big dog will tell you the rest. Yeah, it goes in. Well, we met this uh, we we were sat there talking to this, like, was it N night, wasn't it? Yeah, like N night. They're from Liv Trip, they were from Liverpool. Yeah. And if any, like, they might even remember it if they watch it. If they watch it. So, like, they were, like, just in front of us in the queue and that. So, we had to get our passports checked, like, in canny distance. So I'm looking around and I see these bobbies, like stood behind the stood behind the desk. Behind the desk, the passport desk. So I said, hey, some poor cunt's getting locked up. Gets a bit further around, he went the few of these. Well, I, I knew I hadn't been to court, so I was supposed to go to court for some of that drunk and disorderly in Hartlepool. So I knew I never went, but I didn't think they'd do this. So he said, they're for you then. So he shook your daft cup, but these lasses are laughing. So I'm there, but I'm saying, be here, you fucking lunatic. So we get there, get to the desk. Why would they all come to Liverpool? Why would they come all the way to Liverpool for me? I've, yeah, done, yeah. I've, I've done that wrong. Yeah, so I've only missed it. It was only like drunk and disorderly. I didn't like, because I, I did have a court date to go to. So they put a warrant out for me, yes. Well, I didn't know. 
and they under let me go. So I was thinking, well, I'm all right. So gets to the desk, gives me passport. Darren, go and sit over there. I thought, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that, no. <laughs> so I goes over, sits down. Next minute, these three bobbies come over. Uh, Darren, man, I'm like, well, yeah, Darren, yeah. You know what it's for, don't you? I said, we're an idea, yeah. I said, hey, mate, I said, you don't need handcuffs. I said, it says, show me up. I said, you don't need handcuffs. I know what it's for. Just, just take us with you. No, we need to handcuff you. I said, no, you don't. I said, it's a show up. We do. So the handcuffed us said, we'll put this coat over you, big police coat over it. <laughs> so I'm thinking, well, that's no fucking different. Like, we'll put this coat over it. It's like, so it doesn't show you up. I'm thinking, well, I'm at me by the arm. I'm thinking, fuck's sake. So <laughs> it takes me in this van, puts me in the van. I think, fuck's sake, this is on a Saturday morning, wasn't it? Yeah, Must it was, have been, yeah, Saturday morning. No, I think, no, I'm not. No, if it was, it was a Friday night because it kept it till the Monday. Yeah, it was Saturday morning. I'm sure it was a Saturday morning yeah, flight. It was, it was, no, it was a late flight, so it landed like early hours, wasn't it? Like, a, like early hours, Saturday no, morning. No, sure it was Saturday morning, definitely. Because it was daylight when fucking. Well, I seen you fucking st <laughs> struggling with the suitcases. So I'm, I'm in this paddy wagon. It was fucking sat there like that. I looked out the window. Well, the, air, the airport in Liverpool, it's about a mile and a half walk to where you can get picked up. It's where you get picked up from. So I just looked out the window. Well, he had my suitcase, his suitcase, two bags, and he stared. <laughs> Their suitcases have fallen over, the bags have fallen off. Oh, He's struggling. Flinging them all over. I was giggling to myself in this van, not even thinking about what's happening to me. I'm just laughing my head off at them. So he ends up booking, I mean, ends up in a uh, Wakefield prison. <laughs> uh, police it, station. Yeah, police station. And they said to me, have you got any, like, any problems? I went, yeah. I said, I, I need a drink. I said, I like a drink. I said, I don't have a drink. I said, oh, all right, uh, we'll get the doctor. Right, all oh, then. Oh, I said, oh, do you want to make a fork? I said, no, no, I'm all right. I said, no, why am I here for? I said, I won't be no bother in that. Right, or do you know, like they said, they need a doctor. I said, yeah. I thought, well, I'm, if I'm going to stay there for two days, I, I, I want to get, I just want to sleep them. So he's made that. So I'm thinking, like, I'm making out I'm an alcoholic. So I like to give me blues and that, yeah, you know, yeah. to sleep it off. Sleep it off. So next minute, no doctor. I'm buzzing the buzzer. So I said, no doctor being yet. Oh, no, they asked me, for, sorry. They asked me if I wanted to solicit it. I said, no, I said, no, what it's for. That's that was when I went in. I said, no, it's for. I said, don't need a solicitor. I don't need no. So I goes in, like, and, like, they asked me if I want the doctor. And, like, doctor never come. Oh, now an hour later, there's still no one. Buzzers again. I'm, I'm sat here now. I'm saying, I'm, sh I'm starting to shake now. I said, I need a doctor. I'll be here in a bit. So I said, no doctor. Another two hours. So I buzzed again. Come, I said, right, I want to see a solicitor now. Uh, what? I said, I want to see my solicitor. I said, there's no need for this. What do you, I, said, I said, I want to see my solicitor. I said, mis uh, you're mistreating me. Uh, uh, oh, the doctor will be in five minutes later. The doctor could not come. Yeah, well, they're come for me. They won't see the doctor. Give me two, like, well, give me one then. He said, there'll be one there for you in the morning. One dizzy pump. I thought, yeah. So he was asked for the solicitor to change the show. So he got off his bracket. Yeah, so... Felt uh, asleep. Yeah. The, <laughs> well, tell him why... Till Monday. Tell, yeah, till the Monday. Then they brought you home, didn't they? Yeah. I was only because of the bus. Yeah. So they locked him up in Liverpool and brought him home to where we live. But tell him about, about the, why he got there, the, the, the <laughs> tears there on the bus. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was. I got, I got on the bus and never had no money. So I thought, I'd fuck it, it's going my way anyway. So I just gets on and sits down. And the bus, the bus driver's looking at me like that. And I'm sat in the front of the bus, the bus is chocking as well. I'm off my, I've been on the Cronenberg all day, absolutely platty. So the bus driver, he said, hey mate, you want to, aren't you paying? I went, no, I said, I've got no. What do you mean you've got that? I said, no. I said, you're going my way anyway. I said, just drop us up and stop them. 
He's looking at me, he's always looking daft. He said, oh, you going up to Perth? I said, well, I haven't got that. I said, you're going my way anyway, I'm on the 36. You're going up to pay, you've got to get off. I said, I'm going nowhere. Oh, next minute, fucking hell. Well, five minutes later, and people, even people fucking think I just want to fucking get home. Two bobbies go on the bus. Hey, can you get off the bus? I said, I'm going to Stockton. And they tried to pick me up, but they had all the draw the bars on the the bars on the bus. I scrubbed all them, they weren't getting me off. Two of them weren't getting me off. They were sat there and I'm thought they fucking struggling. I'm just, I just I just want to get all the what you can't like. So I was like resisting the rest up. <laughs> Next minute, third one come on. So they dragged me off the they dragged my arms off. I thought, for fuck's sake, get some, locks us up. But before, I remember, I vaguely remember, got to the cell door and I put my hands on the wall and they couldn't get me in either. <laughs> they couldn't even get me in the cell. They was out there pushing us like that. Wakes up the next morning, I've got a fucking clue what's gone on. So I'm sat there and think, what the fuck? They never, like, sort of, like, charged me for drunken disorder, obviously. So I'm sat there and gets, ends up getting back home. They drop me off. I don't even know why, I just didn't do that in the first place. Drop me off with my sisters, gets in, goes to bed. Wakes up, well I couldn't move. I'm thinking, they've chasing me. All my legs were, like, couldn't move my legs. My shoulder was, but like, I had no like puncture marks, so I'm thinking, is it just me being a dick and like, they've been trying to get me in and it just twisted me up to get me in the cell. Yeah, that's all, that's, all it, that's all it was over. And like, I get locked up in Liverpool and over not getting on the bus because I never had fucking three pound 20. <laughs> <coughs> so, <coughs> over three pound 20, yeah. So while we're on Benadol, talk about the time. We imac you imac yourself like downstairs. Uh, you can't say like what where it was, but like. Well, I can't remember that because like it's, it's it was downstairs. Gone, yeah, I'd gone in full of fucking Captain Morgan. Captain, yeah, Captain Morgan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Went in full of Captain Morgan's. Well, one of my, one of my mates has this like just air remover for his, he chest, for his chest and all that carry on. So when I've gone in. They must have known I was pissed and all that. So like they have, they have got like a bit of bit of blame no. in it. So I've said, hey, like and he's going, oh look at that, you've got a bush in the eighties and that's bush. Eighties bush, yeah. So I've said, hey, he passes that. I said, I'll get rid of it. So I said, say I must have put it on myself, like rubbed it all around me knackers and that. Never thought of it. goes to bed, wakes up next morning, never a clue. So I go to the toilet, having a piss. So I puts it in the wave and look at that fucking hairs all over me. I don't know what's going on again. <laughs> fucking bouncing. I'm going, yep, goes in the room, you bastards going, what, what? I say, I'll fucking, he's, <laughs> I'll fucking he's, strangle you. He's running at me, he's gonna chin me, he's gonna chin the oh. uh, gaffer. Uh. He, he's just gonna chin everybody. Uh. I said, you done it yourself, I wouldn't do that. So gaffer showed in the video. He goes, hey, sorry lads. <laughs> yes, I can't, I can't remember a fucking thing. Oh, there's still love them going back. Yeah. <laughs> so we got, uh, got rid of his uh, 80s bush anyway. Yeah. Fucking 80s, 2023. So we'll tell them now while we're on it. Might as well tell them about the time when you got pickpocketed. <laughs> Oh yeah. Well me, I'm, I'm dead loving and that everyone will know that I, I hook people. If he needs, like, if yeah. He, yeah, if he needs a follower in Benidorm, like he'll sit and talk to him and he'll like hug him. But these were fucking pick, well, I didn't know, like pick yeah, they were just they were just friendly, do you know what I mean? So I went, oh like like as if like the news and that. So I went like that. Oh well I only had thirty euro in my pocket. It sat there like that and like someone said they've done you there. So I checked my pocket, money had gone. So I turned around, well, I just set off. I had a bottle of Budweiser in my hand. 
So I just set off. I'm saying, hey, yo. Well, they started running. I'm running. And, like, I was quite chubby as shit. You fucking caught them? Yeah. So I'm running. I'm, I'm saying, I'm not fucking going to stop till I, till I get you, I'll you know. I said, I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, if I get old, you, I'll fucking kill yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. If I get old, you, I'll fucking kill you. Get on. I'm running. I'm not stopping. So he, they stopped. And they ended up stopping, giving me my euros back. I mean, 30 euros, oh, 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 like, like, backing off and all that. So I'm still fuming, so we're going back to the hotel. And the police pulled up, didn't they? Yeah, the police pulled us, yeah. Outside the casino. Yeah, yeah. Police pulled us. Uh, I said, oh, I said, I'm going. You They're were, all in with it were, as well. You was in with it. The taxi driver's in with it. Yeah, and then, all, and then we were in with it. All, the taxi ran right over yeah, the road. Yeah. He's all fucking in with it, I'm saying. He's going to be behave, I'm saying, I'm saying, Keck, behave, behave. We're going to get us locked up. No, I won't fucking behave. The police are in with it. It's all a big scam. The tax drives in with it. I thought, no. Oh. I said, look, mate, I said, he's all right, we're going home now. Yes, yeah, so that was a fucking... That goes, for the, goes for the kiddie, and I'm blaming them being in with it as well. Oh, I'm blaming the kebab shop. Yeah, the kebab shop. And they're dodgy as... Yeah. So the, next, uh, so the next night, tell me what we did the next oh, night. Oh, the next night, yeah, so yeah, I'll get these cunts back. We sat in the room, right, all like, didn't have a drink this time, we all sat there sober. So what can we do with you for a laugh? He, big dog. I know what I'll do. So we're all on the corner, right where we right were where staying. staying. Yeah, we were watching them, where we watching, watching them, watching them. Pickpocket. Yeah. So he goes, I know what I'll do. That's good. I said, That's what you're gonna do. He's like, I'll fucking show you. So where's that sandwich going? What you had earlier? What you didn't want? <laughs> it's over there. I got a chicken mayonnaise sandwich. So, right, it's so, tomato. So he picks it up. I said, What are you doing with that? He said, I'll show you. Tell me what you did with it. Yeah. So I fucking get some mayonnaise, chicken, tomatoes, everything. Just scooped it off the off the bread, put it all in my pockets, fill my pockets up with it. Then I went down, and I walked past them, normal, like so, which I was never had a drink. Walked down the road, waited for about five minutes, and I walked like walked back, don't pretend to be Martin and that sort of yeah, staggering like that. And I started coming over towards. I thought, I've got you here, you cunt. And sat there like that and they're going, oh, touching me fucking privates and that. Oh, sat there like that and one of them went in my pocket like that and they went, oh, the other one went, the other one, oh, oh. I said, ah, so that's from fucking last night, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Walked back there on the other end and we laughed with the nuts over you filming, weren't you? Yeah, it's all on film, we've got them all yeah, on film. I thought, ah, you fucking. If you've, looked, if you've looked down on the videos, right, you'll say all oh, these. Like these are all the early uh, ones, though. And then tell them about the last 10 euro we had on that dog. <laughs> yeah. Went for a bet, mate, and then went in the boat. He's in over the boat, there. He's, I yeah. think, in about, about 120 euro left for three days. So it was a boat, he's. It was his fault as well. So he said, yeah, fancy your bet. It was my fault. Yeah. He, like, knows, he knows what I'm like. Yeah, but I like your bet as well. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, so it goes in the boat, he's. So I'm. Having a few drinks, ten or one, fucking nowhere. I'm thinking, fuck's sake, couldn't, couldn't do a thing. So I sat there, ten euro left, I thought, here, fucking shit, the bust. So I'm going back to four, dog. Five to one, it was. Yeah, five. Remember the five to one? <laughs> yeah, I know. I said, I'm just having this one, trap four, five to one. So I'm thinking, well, the dog set off. So I'll trap four, flew out. I'm thinking, fucking, God. Like, you give me half a fucking thing back. Flew out. Wasn't it? No, no catch it. About five of them cleared. Oh, yeah. like, These are lying, aren't they? Yeah. About five of them cleared. Just turned them out so, towards the line. The fucking air stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just went white. I felt sick. I really have. I felt nervous. So I got me 10 euro back and drive. I said, I am fucking. That's the last bet I'm having. The air the, the Void race. The air stopped right. And he's four dog. Ran to the air, so he didn't, didn't get the finish line. He goes, you couldn't fucking write this. You couldn't make this yeah, up. Yeah, you couldn't make it up. You couldn't uh, make it up, you're screaming. Uh, that, yeah, that's... Oh, you well that. couldn't make this fucking show as well, you know. Yeah, all true stories. Oh, I felt like crying. So these are different times. I'm thinking 60 euro back. These are different times of Ben on, by the way. Like, you know the dramas we have over there, so they all have TikTok to see. What about when you won that competition on Channel 5? Oh, yeah, you, you, that's you. You yeah. owe me a grand. Yeah, you owe me a grand. Did you do climb it? 
<laughs> yeah, fucking. Well, we'll go to Benidorm. But about four or five weeks before this, and I didn't forget that he had a go of it. I was sat in the house watching uh, NCIS. And like, my phone was fucking, I had like, money on my phone and everything. And do you know the, the competition they have? And they have best yeah, dramas. Yeah. Like the drama thing, press 5221 or something. Text that for a, it's a, it was a weekend away in the log cabins in a, like a all inclusive. Posh, big posh. Big thing. posh log cabin in the woods. And a thousand. And a thousand yeah. pounds spending money. So like I'd done it while I was sat in the house. Never thought no more about it. So we went to Benidorm. It must have been the date that they'd done the draw. So I comes back absolutely mortal. I was on Captain Morgan's that day as well. So I goes in, falls asleep. So since I wakes up, he goes to me. Fucking had drama on the phone there. No, the phone the, the phone rang while he was asleep. Yeah, I had drama on the phone, that's what you said. Yeah, and I thought it was like someone taking a piss. I thought it was like a prank call yeah, sort of thing. Wasn't, was it? So they said uh, it's a drama on father. I said, it is a drama. I said, it's coming fucking mortal drunk. This is a fucking drama. Yeah, this isn't a fucking drama. So when he gets up, I tell him about it. Then, like, he starts filming with me to tell him what happens after that. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, I'm, I'm fucking, I said, I'm, I'm put, I'm, I did it, do it there. Um, End of the competition. Yeah, I went to the know, competition. But, but I didn't know this. I said, there's a log cabin and fucking a grand. So we're trying to get in touch with him. Trying to like, get back. They like, tried to get it back yeah. and he did it. I never had an email address, never had one. They didn't even, we're trying to make one up, weren't we? Yeah. Trying to get and was it fuck? So that was, so I just lost that. That was just. Like that was another drama in Benidorm. That was another drama, like. Like he, Channel 5, then he started saying. You don't, you don't, you don't I, want me a grand stuff. How can you win a competition and lose a competition all at the same time? <laughs> uh, and you still owe me a grand, actually. Yeah, yeah. And then, so now, uh, what's up? What's the next one? No change of the subject. No, no. Yeah, I'll pay you weekly, man. I'll pay you weekly. Do you take Flana? So, the fake tan. Tell, tell the YouTube about the oh, fake yeah. tan. This went massive as well. This went massive in America. Like, this went, like, fucking very big, like, all over the world. Yeah, so it goes, <laughs> goes away. Was a Benny, and like, was it wasn't in Port Benidorm, was it? Where was yeah, it was Port Benidorm. Was it? Yeah, it was Port, yeah. Yeah, in the Port Benidorm. Sober, by the, couple, sober by the way, while, we do, while he's doing this. There's a couple of lasses, like, right next door to us. Yeah, he had a date. And like, yeah, he had a date on the night. So someone said, put a bit of false tan on. So what do you mean? Just tan yourself up, you know. <laughs> well, mate, gullible as fuck. So I said, what, just shut, shut some of that on, get, get it on. He said, rub it all in, make sure you rub it in properly and all that. He said, you look a fucking bee's knee. He said, no, I said, that's how much fucking stuff. Oh, no, it comes straight off. So I don't know if these fucking lasses knew us as well and thought, they'd, I'll have this stuff, couldn't they? by this time, the bag for life, the one with, when Julie done the bag for life of him, uh, that, that went massive, so he was like sort of in the... Like over Benidorm then he was starting to get fucking pitched everywhere, went oh this, that, this, yeah, that. Yeah. So like this was like after like the, all the Julie situation, like with the kids' clothes and the fucking bag for life. So he ends up doing this uh this false tan of the definitely definitely wasn't Paul Benidorm. It was, it was yeah. hundred percent. The the videos on the ball. Yeah. He was doing the ball and exact I said, what the fuck you were doing here? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so we sat there, um, he's putting it on now for us, dab, dabbing it on, I don't know. No, you were dabbing it on. I was dabbing it on yeah. the fret, it said, wasn't I, I said to him, no, I said, I, I said, Kate, I said, you're doing it wrong. I said, you, you need to, like, dab it on, because I found my partner. I said, I said, why are you even doing that? Or oh, the last next stop, I can hear them laughing. He said, they said, I'll have a glow. I said, you put it on too thick. He said, I'm not. I said, right, well, so you've got to leave it on an hour and like wash it off and you get your glow. Yeah. So I start dabbing it on for him, like, so like it's not just all thick in one place. Goes and lays down on the bed, 
falls asleep. Listen to this. The videos are there. What happened after that? Yeah, it falls asleep. He said I was trying to wake you up, of course he was. I was on my laugh, laugh me out of my thought. There's no way I'm waking him up. No, yeah. Like, no, like, I wakes up the next day. He just sat there and looked at us, started pissing himself laughing. Um, <laughs> I was saying, what? Gets up, looks in the mirror, I thought, for fuck's sake, I just looked black. It, it was proper black, like, like, his face was black. So I get up trying to wash it off. Showers. Nothing. Shower after shower after shower. And that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shower after shower. And, like, it did, like, it, it took the thickness off, but the colour was still there. I'm thinking, well, fuck, say he's gone. Anyway, it doesn't even look that bad now. Yeah, so that's where David Dickinson come into yeah, it, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, yeah. Well, what was it we said? The videos are... The Bobby Dazzler. Yeah, 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 Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> All the videos are there watching our TikToks. Uh, Pull a wig on, did we? Yeah, the was... croc shop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that woman. I don't know if, like, if she sees yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I um, said it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, she, she, I was I, from Manchester or something. I remember, yeah, the woman, yeah. The woman she got up to see... Yeah. There's a pit, not the picture, and that would end up in New York and like uh, massively. Every video we seem to upload them like then went huge. I look more like Wesel Gummidge. Yeah, he did. That's what we said on yeah. the comments. Yeah. So that, so then, right. This is the next chapter. So what it was, I've sorted myself out, and like I stopped all. Uh, I never stopped it, but like I've chilled out a lot. And I met Jolie, and like everything clicked like that, and just got on like a fucking house on fire. But she done everything I done, man. Tried to score me local. She went to bingo. Well, I was happy with her. So I goes to goes me local one night, sat there. We used to play darts, me and my mates and that. So one night we. If you're scoring at the darts, you're next. So I sat there, so my mates played, he won. So they shot me up, Darren, you're scoring. So I goes, goes, gets a chalk, and I'm just waiting, just waiting to like score. Well, one of my mates just like, he sat there, look, he's looking at the dab all out, and just went, bang, shot a dart right through right, my toe. <laughs> what, a, what a shot, I swear down. I'm jumping right, a pair of uh, white and all white Puma trainers on, I remember this day. Oh, well, and, and like they had a little holes in the top, and I've just seen the blood coming up this hole. I'm, uh, I'm limping about, thinking he's laughing his nut off. I'm thinking, so I ended up like taking my shoe off the landlady. That was a bad mistake as well. Bandage on it, or plaster, I think it was. Plastered it up. Thing it up. I'm saying to him, I'll get you back, you could, I'll get you back. Never thought no more of it, did he? So about two or three weeks passed, sat there, goes back in, playing darts again. So he's up there, I'm playing, he's gone and next. So he stood there like, he, he just totally forgot about it, I never. So he stood there like that, just went, woof, bang, strike his foot. <laughs> I've come and done that for us, remember the other week? You fucking asshole, he's calling me fucking all day. So, there, so then, sat there, so he must have thought, well, he got me back. He's like that anyway, he's alright, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. So, next morning, I pop in there for a couple of pounds, goes in. He's only there with his leg, his foot up on the table, he's only got an infection in it, his ankle's out here. I'm off work because of you, I said, well, I said, you've know got me the other week. Oh, I was fucking bad. I want me wages off you. <laughs> I, want, I want paid off you, I'm saying, well, you've got me the other week. I said, pay back some bitches, isn't it? Oh, that was funny, that like, yeah. So well, later on the night, I was sat there, and I had one of the funniest stories I've had in my life, I was crying. One of the mates said, here, tell him about what happened with a, a bloke downtown. So he's telling us, he's going, right, he said, yeah, he said, I'm in a pub. He said, just come out, come out this pub. He said, it was half cut. He said, I looked over the road 
and this bloke's like beating this lad up. Well, this bloke who like who's beating this lad up, he's a tenth dan in yeah, it was Gildo, like, yeah, yeah, he's a proper like he wouldn't no one would say anything to him. But he didn't know. So he sat there back this lad, the lad must have done something, so he wasn't like that. So he shouts over, hey, fucking leave him alone. <laughs> so as he as he shouted that, the lad got up like he just looked up like that, and the lad who was getting beat up gets up and runs off. So he sets off after him, the lad who was filming him in. So my, my mate thought he was running away from him. So he's running after the lad. And my mate's running after this fucking <laughs> hard case. Well, he said, I'm running on the road, he said. And he's like, I'm, I'm chasing him, he said. He said, well, the lad gets away. And he said, then he just stopped and turned around. He said, just looked at me. He said, I knew straight away when our lad, he died. <laughs> but I was fucking crying. He said, he twisted me up. I think he broke his arm. He was in dock for two weeks. <laughs> oh, it, yeah, when he, like when he told me, he said, "Well, I didn't know who the fuck he was." Yeah, it was, oh, it was unbelievable. So one lad's chasing one lad, and then the other lad thinks he's the one who, one who was hitting. Yeah, when he shouted, the other lad got away. So he's chasing him like you get him, then get not, him again. And your mate thought he, the other he lad, was running away from him. He thought he was running away from him. Yeah, then fifth time thought he was running away from him. Yeah, so he's chasing <laughs> him. He said, "I didn't know who he was." Oh, yeah, put him in the hospital for two weeks. So the next part yeah. is how me and Big Dog met. That was in the same place, wasn't it? The mate, yeah, pole the, team? Yeah, yeah, the pole team, so... It was called as a mate old Muppets. Yeah, we, so me and Big Dog met in the pole team. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, we, we, like, we weren't, like, close, or were we, like, just... Oh, no, I was just saying, you we used to call He knocked about with all my, like, sort of family, didn't he? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I was more like, I knocked him up with the older oh, generation. Yeah, yeah. I did, like, I sort of did, like, I was all round, you know Yeah, I mean? yeah. So that's how me and Big Dog met, so we'll go on to, uh, what can we go on to now? Uh, yeah, when, so me and, me and Big Dog gets talking. Next thing, we end up working together. Oh. <laughs> Tell them about the, uh, Oh, go to the plumbing job. The plumbing job. Yeah, go on. Get the plumbing job. Uh, so work in this house. Can I tell my first son? Yeah, go on. So I says to him, like, he was fit then, big like big dog. Was fit, like, yeah, I wasn't like wasn't he, like this. Yeah, he was fucking I had a physique. Like he was proper fit. So I was downstairs, so we, we got a plumbing job, so I said to him, go upstairs, because there was there was the uh, water tank water, right? like water tank thing, I said, need need that out. I said, well, whatever you do. Make sure you understand the beams. <laughs> I'll let Big Dog take all the rest of it. So I'm in the kitchen. Yeah. So I'm in the kitchen sorting this plumbing job out. Uh, I'm saying to Big Dog, make sure you just stand on these beams. <laughs> Do not stand anywhere else apart from the uh, beams. I think they all there is a water pan, water tank. tank. Bring it out. He done, yeah. done, done it all just to drag it out. Uh, tell so, me what so I get to get the ladders, get something in the loft. Next minute. Well, it was dark to me, like... Yeah, it was dark and a lot. Like, on my, my side, it was dark, yeah, but, yeah. like, felt where the beams were. So, so, but this water tank's, like, over the other side of the loft. So I'm sat there, and I'm being careful, and I don't even know what, how it's happened. My foot must have, I must have, like, just lost a bit of direction. I put me, <laughs> put me foot in the sea. <laughs> Me like just went straight through. So I'm in the kitchen this time. Oh, class all. I'm in the kitchen this time. Next minute I see big dogs fuck coming through the ceiling. I said, you fucking wider me, what? So the woman comes in screaming. I said, look, I said, I'll pay for it. Whatever it costs, I'll oh. get, get it done. So the job was only for like 230 quid or something. It cost you 400, didn't it? And it cost me 400 pounds. <laughs> to get the fucking ceiling fixed. <laughs> So that's that job. So yeah. now, while we're on jobs, uh -oh. we're telling you about when we used to wear. So I bought a van. Like, I just, because I've always been odd job, man. Like, just bits here, bits there. So I bought a van to, to, do, <laughs> to do scrap. So I thought, we'd take Big Dog out of us. Scrap was high at the moment. Like, make yeah. a few quid. There was not much work coming in for me at this time. I just bits and bobs, so... It, was, it must be the winter, because I can't have been... I must have been on the cow. I'm I'd not have been on the cow, so wouldn't I? It must be the winter. 
World yeah. one, eh? Yeah, it would have been a winner one. Like, yeah, yeah. One, well, obviously, yeah. You, no, it was after, it was after you worked for the Colossal one, eh? Because you started working with us full time on the windows. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is right, all yeah. after the council. So, so I was only getting jobs like here and there, so I thought I need, I need a, a steady job. So I bought a pickup, like, like I bought a van to do, like scrap, to collect scrap. My dad's done it all his life. Like I've done it since I was a kid. So I know, I know, the, I know what to do. So I'll let Big Dog tell you about what I said to him. <laughs> yeah. So, so we get to the scrap yard. So he says to us, like, get the, we had a pot sink, like with the taps on. So I get it like that. He goes, oh, what, what are you doing with that? I says, I he says, said, it's sharp. Careful, as, yeah, yeah. Be, get very, be very careful with that. He said, it's fucking sharp, that, you know, draw the pot sinks. I said, I'll be all right. Bang, smash it, smash as a pot sink. Well, I didn't even feel it at first. It was that, it was that sharp. So I'm sat there thinking this tap off. He sat there, he comes over, he goes, what's the matter with your leg? Looks down like that, oh, I was fucking gushing. Penfold. Yeah, <laughs> Penfold yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah. Scrap yard. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, fucking hell, straight in first aid kit. Sat there, bandaged it up. Well, it, you can see the blood seeping through the bandage. It was proper deep cut, like, yeah. a, like it's, it was one of well, them. I've, I've got the scar still there. Don't still want to see the scar. scar. It's a massive one. But... Can we get the scar on? Oh, no. Gone, no, that's a long journey. Surely, the week. What's it then? Eh? Yeah. Hang on, can we get round there? Let's have a look. I'm sure, that's it. Take a look. Yeah, as we well, can't tell them there. No. So anyway, that's a, the scar. <laughs> but I did say to him, you've got to be careful with these pot sinks because they're fucking dangerous. Yeah, but I'm, I'm losing if fucking. You, if, you, if you look at these fingers now, seriously, the middle ones. They've been broke that many times for me being on the scrap. Like, I've got scars all over them. Off pot sinks and breaking my fingers, fucking hitting things. Like, look the size of, look the size of that hand, that hand. Yeah. Them things, them. That's over, like, pot sinks and stuff. <laughs> so I'm saying, we'll be very careful. So tell me what happened when you're done, you like. Yeah, so it gets bandaged up. You can see the blood seeping through the bandage already. We haven't even got the scrap yard. So it's bleeding fucking, I'm, ble I'm losing blood, like, rapidly. So I sat there and he's, oh, we'll take to the hospital. He sat there and he turns right. Like, Where the fuck are you going? Goes down this road. Pulls up. Oh, yeah, seeing what he's done to his leg, show him. I'm saying, get me the fucking hospital. I'm saying, I'm losing fucking pants of bloody <laughs> you have cunt. Show him. So I sat there and made that cunt. Oh, look, I'm going over the thing. I'm saying, now get me the fucking hospital. I was like, you fucking idiot. I'm, Two pounds of blood loss. So what happened after that? Like after we worked on the scrap for a few, what, what a year, wasn't it? Yeah. We, we ended up going out like where we were, like costing us money. <laughs> we ended up going out like <laughs> on the scrap. The scrap dropped, dropped drastically, didn't it? Like the prices. Uh, so we ended up going out and then like costing us money to go out. We go to Blackwell. Yeah, so we just got to Blackwell yeah. get a pie. <laughs> get a few bits, didn't we? And it fucking cost us yeah. money. So after that, uh, made about twelve quid on the scrap. It cost us eight quid for that. We did. You know what we used to do? We used to wear. We used to go to the scrap yard right and wear ourselves in. <laughs> yes, yeah, stand on the scrap. Like, yeah, we used to wear ourselves in. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I jump in the back of the van, yeah. like stash, put water in the wheelie bin, like just all, just all stuff like that. So after that, we made we made pies of uh, <clears throat> a big window cleaning round. So. Big Dog was always dab on that windows because he's, he's he's done it like for years. On and off for yeah, 20 years. Uh, like when he in, when he used to do the council in the winter, when he got laid off, he was going to be a window cleaner. So, my mate buys around in Middlesbrough. Tell him about when oh. our dramas were that. Yeah, so so we used to go, right? But like when, he, when the gaffer was with us, the boss, he would sit there and do like, Oh, five windows, they come over, start talking. They go, Are you hungry yet? I'm starving. So, oh, well, uh, I went jump in. So, jump in the van, you said, Take us like restaurants and uh, good lad, you know. Yeah, all posh restaurants, wasn't it? Yeah, all posh restaurants, get what you want. So, we'll sit there, we'll get back about two o'clock, do another three windows. They sat more than that, it was good, fuck all got done. Yeah, you should take us out. You sit there, well, you fucking. 
<laughs> you should take us out and say, oh, you, you, uh, fuck all's been done today. Did you want, do you want a sandwich, grab it? <coughs> yeah, yeah, grab us a sandwich. So you go and grab us a sandwich, come back, talk us for a fucking half an hour. Or take uh, us, take us for somewhere to eat. But then when it was, like, it was cash and hand job, you know what I mean? It wasn't like, it was just cash and hand. So he was coming back, giving us our words and saying, we haven't done much. haven't done much. I said, you're fucking, that all day in fucking pub, <laughs> in fucking restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So tell them to tell about the nest, Norm. Oh, fucking unbelievable. <clears throat> I didn't know where to put my face. And then went back again. This is this is when me and Big Dog stopped working together. <clears throat> yeah. Well, after this, this was the end. Of, end oh, of, I felt like. This was the end of the straw. We didn't work together after this. Yeah. So I'm sat there. Just gets round where, where the day room is. So I'm down the windows like that. Daft Darcy it comes behind us. <laughs> Shorts. <laughs> Shorts down to me legs. I'm sat there pulling them up. And I'm, I'm, to this day, I'm, I'm sure they must have seen. Yeah, of course you'll have seen. Was, uh, the room was full of blinds wide open. I'm the fucking beaming red. Oh, I felt like knocking his cunt in, really. Yeah, we, 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 we've had a scream. Uh, <clears throat> but that was the end. That's when we just stopped working together because every time we worked together, it ended up costing us more. Because you saw us like, <laughs> did it co end up costing more? So we just said, right, we just stopped working together completely. So where did we go from? Where did we go after that? The old thirtieth one, eh? Oh yeah, Benadorm. Well, you never got there. Yeah, so tell me about that one. Your Benadorm. big dog's first time abroad. Yeah, first time, first time ever. Oh no, I went to San Francisco first, wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah, 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 I said, definitely, I'm not getting on without you. I said, your birthday, if you're not going, I'm not. Get on, I'll be all right. So I get on. He said, you don't know, you didn't say to me, you're making me worse, did you? Yeah, I said, I said what, what's happening here, right? Everyone's surrounding me saying, oh, wait, get on, get on. I said, you make me feel worse. I said, you get on, let me sit down. I'm, I'll be all right, I'll be on in a minute. Leave me on my own, I'll, I'll get on in a minute. So we all get on the plane, sits down. Never thought no more. Next to them, the fucking stewardess is shutting the door. He's not on. I'm thinking, he's fucking done one. <laughs> <laughs> so we end up going to Bendorf for his 30th without him. We start fucking carry on, we're laughing at. So get there. We're on the transfers and that going. We're in the Luxmar Hotel. So get there, gets in the hotel. Well, I just get ready, me go fucking storming off, just goes out. Not thinking of it like I'm going to fucking clue where I'm going, just find them pubs. So I'm fucking wrecked. And I'm walking back and I'm thinking, I, I didn't even know the name of the hotel. I'm thinking, I'm fucked here, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> so I'm walking round, big, this big block, fucking big dark paths and everything, I'm getting a bit fucking scared now. Ended up with a big round to where the roundabout is, what says better, Dom, if anyone has seen it, like, Ended up near there, I'm thinking, what the fuck am I doing here? So I said, I know, I'll just turn around and I went towards like, the beach is this way. And I'm asking people where the beach is. Oh yeah, go straight down water. Oh, fucking, I don't know how many miles I've walked. So I'm walking, I'm getting more, I'm thinking, I'm fucked here, I don't even know where it is. I couldn't even t ask a taxi because I didn't even know the name of the hotel. You were calling it, what were you? What the Low Mix, I was calling it. It was called the Low Mix, but it's called the Lux Mark. I thought I'd just give, I, yeah, I just asked the taxi driver yeah. here. I just said, do you know where the Low Mix is? The Low Mix, no, 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 no Low Mix. I'm like, fuck's sake. And I'm walking about and like, it's, I was sober by then. I'm just sobered up. I'm just panicking. And I was walking, as I was walking down this road, I just remembered. Like when I was going on the transfers, like a, a pink Santa mini market. And I went, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm fucking sure we turn left after that. Walked up past that, turn left, there was the hotel. I thought, hallelujah. 
I got in, I said, I'm fucking staying with people now. What a fucking nightmare that was. So as I was, as, I, as he's finished there, as I was walking <laughs> out, the, like the Le Leeds Bradford Airport, I fucking ends up like going to customs and saying, where are you going? I said, I'm going home. Well, if you can't just go home, I said, I can't. I said, get me home. I just want to go home. I said, where's your suitcase? I said, it's on the plane. So where's the plane? I said, it's, it's took off. So they went to bed and with my, your, your my suitcase. suitcase. Yeah. So, and I was trying to get through customs, wouldn't let me through. I said, look, I said, I'm, I'm scared of flying. I don't want to go. I said, let me out of here now, please. So I get out. So on the Thursday, the day before we come home, I get a phone call of Big Dog. Tell him. Oh, so walk, we're walking around, me and all that. Sorry for interrupting, but so as he heard, yeah. so as he heard this on the phone, Kek. Yeah. So as he heard Kek. Yeah. No, we never called each other Kek then. No, he did. He said Kek. Did I? Yeah, he definitely. Yeah. So, so, so the end said kek. I knew, I knew something was up. So we <laughs> So walking down just walking towards a, a pub or something. And these fucking men with the tatees you've seen them, haven't you? P men the call. P men. In Benadorm. So I sat there swarming so for them and sat there watching them and thinking, oh well you can see the little red fucking thing, can you? Well I'm just I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I'm thinking, oh he's showing that there. So I jumps in, but that's 50 euro. So jumps in, I'm, yeah, 50, that, that one there, that one. He went, and fucking won the middle. I'm thinking, the fucking showed it was on there. I'm thinking, oh my God, I went white. I'm thinking, well, I'm gonna fuck all lift. So I, I said, well, I'm gonna fuck on it, see if I can fuck on why you missed some money. So for them, okay, well. He gave me some money over. I've just lost me last 15 euro on the payment. I feel sick. I felt like crying. And I, so I started fucking saying, fucking, what's a fucking payment? So when I goes over and I see what these payment, you, you, you can't see, you actually see it. But once they do something, it goes, it disappears. Yeah. So first, lost, first and last time. Yeah, so, is by, so, by the way. Yeah, so he ends up losing, all, he's losing his last 50 quid. So I find him some money over. Next minute, on the way home, he gets a phone call again. Keck. I said, what? The won't send your luggage back unless you pay 70 quid. I said, I paid the fucking... Look, I've already paid for it. Yeah, but you're not here. Just not here. No, yeah, yeah. So it's got, right, yeah. it's got to go with my name or like whoever else's name we're with. I said, all right. Two minutes. Where are they? Two minutes. All right, no, oh. two, two. Yeah. So, so I says, oh, can you... Can you... Uh, so I had to send them 70 pound over to get my fucking case home. So that was the start of Benidorm. He should have come. <laughs> yeah. <spent> less. <laughs> so that was the start of Benidorm. So now we're going to get on to the Benidorm thing. But at this yeah. time, he was still with Julie, by the way. Yeah. Like things were going sweet with her, but we're going to get on to the, the Benidorm stories now. Oh no, we'll tell them the Saturn's was animal first. What, the, the burger. <clears throat> oh yeah. You sat the room. You went to smile. So, this is his first ever holder. Yeah. So, it was in the room. When we he, get, when we gets there, there's nothing inside. No, no, nothing inside. All, all there was right was a road. Oh, about mile walk, wasn't it? Yeah, the mile, town. Walk, mile walk, the town. But where we were was like in the middle of nowhere, just a road and a fucking McDonald's and that, that was it. As soon as I got there, I thought, I want to go home. Like, I don't even want to fucking, I just want to go home. <laughs> The Mac McDonald's was a bit of a fucking hype, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, but Mac Rose, I'm saying, yeah. it's all you can see was McDonald's. Uh, yeah. Tell him about, tell him so about McDonald's. He goes in, he's all depressed and that, wants to go home. So he goes to bed early. So I goes in, I'm just, it's all inclusive, obviously, so I like that, I'm fucking drunk as a cunt, goes in the room. So I'm going to wake me up, okay? What, what? He's all chapped. So, do you want to McDonald's? No, don't a fuck. No, you just go. Yeah, but go back. What well, goes back? Okay, what? Well, sure. <laughs> you fucking bad. I'm telling you now. He said, I do not want now. Just go yourself. Right. Next week goes back in. Right, I'm going now. Sure, you don't want now. He go, okay, I swear down. You win me up one more time. I'm getting the next flight home tomorrow. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so I had a few of them, right, trying to get a slight week, he's come and said, you want a fucking bag of McDonald's? I'm saying, no. Uh, oh, he's absolutely livid. I said, come back in again, I said, I'm going, I'm flying home. I'm flying home to one of first thing. So, fucks off, goes out, so I go to McDonald's. Wasn't open, so I ended up going through the drive through Stood the drive through these two lasses, like, who, who took us back, laughing the nuts off at us. I said, no, you haven't got a car book, and they have a bag. <laughs> they fucking off his nut him. So they give us it. So I get this fucking big bag. Takes it back. Goes in the room. Goes in this room. Okay, what, well, do you want some of this? <laughs> Yeah, Keck, <laughs> don't know about you. This he said, I was fast, I keep walking up, Keck, don't know about you. I'm asleep, He's, he, he goes in his house, uh. don't know about you. This, I thought, are you fucking taking the piss or what? Oh, uh. that's some screams like. Uh. So, that's, but, so when we were in Benidorm, eh, uh, Benidorm, sorry, sat in Susanna, I'm thinking I'm learning oh, Spanish. Spanish. So I'm going to the bar, saying to this woman, can I have ice cream, please, por favor? Bring down my said she was crying, laughing. Yeah. So I'm saying, he's fucking, she keeps laughing at me, yeah. So it goes back, and have ice cream, please, pop for four. So the last day, we were, I said to her, why do you keep laughing at me every time I get ice cream? He said, because you say, can I have ice cream, please, please? Like in English and Spanish. I said, all right. So that's a Santa Susanna story done. So now we're going to where, what is it? The Benidorms. This is interesting. This is not to be missed. So, what about the ladder where earlier on we were on about Airy Leg? This time, we go to like, we had a canny few, we had a canny few pills. So, he said, he said oh, we'll go to Satan. I'll drive out, have a smoke, it's right over there. So, we're driving along, he's funny, what a funny lad he was. So he's driving along, and we used to just like joggers all like that, we used to just take the pit, not like shouting at them, just between ourselves and have a giggle on the way there. Count the joggers all the way there, see how many we can count. So we're off our nuts, get to seat and go to the car park, get in the car park. Sat there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke. Next minute, this Bobby van pulls in, like a couple of, couple of yards away from us, pulls in. Well, it's got police all the way down the side of it, like a proper police van. So I nudge him. I'm saying, I'm not too sure, but I think the police are at this. <laughs> I think the police are over there. So he looks at me, he's going, looks like that. He goes, what gives you that idea? <laughs> so I'm crying. I'm saying, I don't know. I think the CID, next minute, the, the van opens, the police van opens, they come over. But the Bobby was all right, me, the first one. Sat there, and they opened the window. All right, what you up to, lads? I said, oh, no, we just sat there chilling. Yeah, you're not smoking the wacky back here. I said, oh, no, no. All right, and like, he's just about to go. Well, this Bobby woman come from nowhere. It's must have to book him what they call him. I can't think of the name of the, the Bobby woman. I won't say Joe Dandort's walking the other reader. Yeah. So, she come from nowhere. I can smell it. I can smell it. I thought, for fuck's sake. So I'm sitting there. So the Bobby had to get us out of the van there. So go gets out the van. Gets in gets in the back of their van. Well, my feet aren't going to you know that, don't you? Oh, I do I? Yeah. So, right. The search does. Search everything. Right, take your shoes off. So I'm looking at them and going, you don't want to be doing that. <laughs> I'm saying, they're looking at us like that. I'm telling you, don't want to take my shoes. He said, take your shoes off. Takes my shoes off. Checks me shoes and feet and all that. So they like get back in the car. So I get back in the car. I think they got the door lock them up. I've got, I can't drive, so I've got no way of fucking getting home. So after about 10 minutes, they let him out the van. <coughs> And they've got a bit about that much, Rocky, like, blow. Got about that much off him. He said, you only got that much off us. I said, what do you say to him, Mike? He said, oh, I said, what's that? He said, oh, I tell a deal. 
I said, the tenor deal. I said, you wouldn't even get a joint out of it. Oh, I never thought about that. He's off his nut as well. So Bobby Van fucks off. So he goes in there. I don't know how he's done it. Paul goes in, sucks, fuck another tenor deal. Sit there and knock up. Knock up, we'll have a joint on the way home. So <laughs> we're on our way back. Gets to a, uh, not Aviel, what's it called? Uh, Paul Clarence. And there's road work lights, like on the side. So he goes in his car's there, the, the lights, well, most of the lights. And he's parked up. And the lights go from green to red. And he's looking at me, he's going, what's this stuff could do in here? From red to green, this car's not moving. He's going, he's hit the fucking piss him. Yeah, goes back to red. So he gets out, storm and fuming. Goes over, looking at the car like that, and comes walking back, gets in the car, I looks at him and says, What's up? He says, Parked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was it. I was crying all the way up. I'm looking at him and saying, You think, cut. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. Parked up. I, really, I was crying all the way back. I was like, You fucking idiot. So, uh, while we're on, we on there, Tell us about the. My, my dad said his dad is like exactly like, just like he he is like it's oh. a character. So tell us about the one with the. Oh, when he yeah. So this day, right? My dad used to sell stuff for people because he knew a lot of people. And being a character and all, I knew a lot like a lot of people where we would come from. So this day, this bloke comes, knocks on the door. Obviously, my dad answers. He said. Can you get rid of these? Big set, of, like proper professional drum set. My dad, yeah, I'll be able to get rid of them. He said, well, give us a shout, I'll sort you out when, when you don't, do you know what I mean? Dad's right, oh then. So my dad gets them. My sister's like, she must have only been about nine years old. So, my sister's like looking at him, he never thought no more of it. So he goes and puts them under my sister's bed upstairs, like fucking stashes them. So the next day, the Bobbies come to the door. Well, my dad's on the set, they knock at the door. My sister only answers. When she opens the door, the Bobby goes, your dad there? She went, there's no drums under my bed. <laughs> my dad was a fuck sick. <laughs> went up, got the drums and everything. Locked me dad up. Yeah, he got 12 months for that. 12 months. Yeah, yeah for my sister set. got him 12 months. He was fucking fuming. For a set of drums. Uh, he couldn't make it up. So at this time, when he so his face is like this, Big Dog seen something on Facebook that hotels were getting like stuff getting took off cleaners in the hotels and that, but it wasn't true. Might, well, it might be in their hotel, but it wasn't in ours. So tell him what happened with the uh, what he did with the passport, Big Dog. Yeah, well, he had someone had told me the hotels were getting robbed in like. Stuff was getting taken, so I thought. Best place to leave the passport is with his dad. Safe. So I gave his dad me his old passport and said, you'll keep hold of them. This his apartment's safe. So I, I forgot to tell him. <laughs> but, so... Was there strikes on the time? Yeah, was there, yeah there's yeah, strikes on the time. We were supposed to all come back together. Yeah, yeah. But like when it, when they checked, we couldn't. There was two seats on one and one on the, like, the day after. So, so his dad said, "Well, you better off you two like going together. I'll go on my own on the Monday." So I said, "Right, go oh, then." I never, I never even thought. Oh, next morning, his dad had already. It was an early flight, so his dad had already booked off back to England. So in the morning I was like, I wakes him up, I said, Kirk. So as he hear, so as he hear this right, Kirk. Kirk, I said, he said, what? I said, did you get the passports off your dad? He said, why would my dad have the passports? I said, well, I, I give them to be safe. You're joking, aren't you? I said, no. <laughs> I said, no. I said, well, all the hotels are getting robbed. Not this fucking one he's going to us. He said, you're having a laugh, aren't you? I said, no, really. I said, didn't you get him? He said, why would I get him? I didn't even know he fucking I, 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 I knew all about, I knew yeah. all about it. I didn't know about it. Now, so he's going to me. So I phoned my dad up. 
I said, did, where's, I said, did you leave the passports? Because we thought you left from Atlanta, we'll take to the airport. So I we thought, stayed, he, yeah, yeah, Steve, I thought you'd have given him to stay. Like, for the, to be sick, like, giving them to take us back. So I phoned my dad, I says, have you got our passports? Oh, they in the draw. I said, you're fucking joking, aren't you? He said, no. So I said, then he's draw, so what we're we doing now? Yeah, he said, well, have you left the key with anyone? Yeah, I said, I've no? got a key, like the, the caretaker. He said, well, no, no one, why would anyone have my key? So I put a post up on Facebook, anybody flying over to Alicante, yeah, can you please do me a favour and bring some keys over? Someone said, I'm coming Thursday, I'm coming Friday. So we ends up like... We we'll come back on the Tuesday, where we? Yeah, so we're supposed to come back next day. So we, we ended up staying over there till the fucking Friday. So we, we had about 100 quid lasses, like between us. That's where we went the thingy, wasn't it? Okay. HMP, HMP, HMP yeah. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I went downstairs, I can extend the room. They said, yeah, it'll be 180 pound. I said, no, I said, doesn't matter. I said, we'll just have to go tomorrow. I said, no problem. So look for the cheapest apartment. So we found one called the Avenida in the old town. Well, I gets there, right. I've never been to prison. Big dog's never been to prison. I looked at it, right, the videos are on there on my TikTok. It just looked like the fucking prison. Yeah, the didn't London, it? like the yeah, prison like London, London or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the shows on telly and that. If anyone's watching videos, they'll say that. Yeah, and so I said, where must I can't stay here? He said, why? I said, it's like, a, I said, it's like someone out of fucking strange ways. So all he does is laugh at me. Keep, so now everyone who books at hotel, like they're saying, I'm staying at HMP Bend. That's what people call it now. <laughs> that's looks like. They said a room with a view. Our view, right, was just a wall. A big wall. Like, a big wall and a big fence, wasn't it? The balcony, you, you couldn't even fit us both front. It was that small. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. The big fence, it's like, it had something like hanging on it. I said, look, someone's trying to escape. Trying to escape <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a better box yeah, than yeah. or something, didn't it? Uh, so you know you don't know the antics what goes on when you go to bed now. Surely he's watches, but if he's uh, done, get on with TikToks. Like people must think it's like we're we're fucking yeah, about yeah, right yeah, and yeah. no, but these we, are all but, true, but, you know. We are on live streams while we do it. And there's like <laughs> like one time we booked us into a hostel, he didn't have gla uh, no glasses on. So we we snuck on a bus because we taxi well, yeah, the taxis were fucking the taxis were full to the brim. And I said, but like Oh, now and half way to sack, I'm at here now and half. So I said, jump in this bus. He was going, no, no. I said, jump in this bus, kicker. I said, I'll get his bed on. So he sneaks on the bus. There's more people coming, more people coming. I said, sitting in the front, no, I said, it's a case like we get caught and we don't. Just not, get stopped so, after. Not getting shown up. Anyway, the, the, the door's shut. The driver goes. So I'm thinking, I hope it is going to bed on. Because it could be going anywhere, you know what I mean? You don't have to make the same as going to bed on. Uh, so, I'm I'm laughing at the time. <coughs> and I'm saying, where's this? His phone was flat. He said, I said, what's, what's it called? Hotel Benidorm Beach. So, I'm saying to people, I'm, I said, I know it's in the, he said, it's in the old town. I said, well, it'll be on the beach front, like Hotel Benidorm Beach. So, everyone's Googling it. They're saying, we can't find it. I'm saying, are you sure it's called that? 100% kek. It was a hostel Benidorm Beach. That's what it's called, hostel. So I gets in. <laughs> I goes in, I goes. Yeah. Uh, I said, hey, you were booked in here. So oh, yes, I'll take your room. So when I goes around, there's six beds, bum bed. Uh, I said, six beds? He's like, I can't stay here. I said, well, are we here on our own? Like, he went, oh, yeah. He said, there's your bed. There's your friend's bed. I saw a sound. Then, like this, there was just like... Lad st st stood in the doorway. I said, so what's your beds for? He said, oh, there are two English in that one. And two... Uh, fucking serious. Syrian? Yes, yeah, so like, just like whatever, someone else in the other one. I said, so there's six people in this room. He said, yeah. I said, get me out of here now. What do you mean? He said, I can't stay here. This is at two o'clock in the morning. I said, I must stay in here. Oh, I'll stay for one night, kick. I'm saying, no, so I was fucking proper chow. I said, how, how can you book a fucking hostel? He said, I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> so I said, hotel. <laughs> so it was the last time. I he, think the H and the L. Yeah. Think. So that's the last time he's ever booked a fucking uh, hotel in Benidorm. Uh, I'm about, about breaking my foot while we're on about Benidorm, ain't we? Uh, 
But I went about my well tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah that first. was your fault as well, eh? Because I think you left me lights on. We're going to the old town on the mobility school. Yeah, I, I put his lights on, did. Put my lights on. And like we're driving about for hours. And like I'm sat there and I'm looking at my lights on my mobility school and they're going down quite fast. I'm thinking, I'm only at back here. They're just flying about him and his dad. So I'm thinking it's a fucking set up. Just get come back, it's out the old town that was it. Beep, beep, beep. I'm thinking, oh my fucking good God. So he's gone, it'll get you back. And then one red bar left. So I'm going, mm, I'm going like really much, one mile an hour or something. So every little ramp we got to, it wouldn't go up, so it would just go beep, beep, beep. So I'm looking, it push a lot push more, it, pushing push, it up push the bank. So he's laughing his nut off, filming us, as he does. So every little bank we got though, because like if you had a run up, you could have gone up it. So every little bank, so, so he I, cut. I'm cutting in front of him all the time. He cut us off. So like I was stuck on the bank, so it was going beep, 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 to where I'm fucking nudging while he's filming. So he gets back to the hotel and he puts his uh, scooter on charge so he can get back out. Because we were going on that night. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. But when we goes down, tell me what happens when we goes down, kick. Goes that way. When we go, when we went like, oh, well, we're supposed to leave our way. Drive about. You're supposed to leave our little scoops outside the South Pole car, does not it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes out. Go, goes to leave our scoops at the South Pole car, does for our transfer. That's where we get picked up from, isn't it? Yeah. So it goes there, then this last turns up. Oh, cried her eyes out. Kid, was it more, kid, more like like six, like a four, fifteen year old kid, sixteen. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what's up with him? Oh, I've, I've been robbed. I've been this. I haven't got a penny. I don't know. I don't know how to get back. I've lost my friend. Next minute, a friend comes. We've been robbed, and oh, fuck's sake. Got no money to get home, but I need. Some near one, eh? Yeah, it's only, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So I've sat there, so I like, I'm, I said, I'm, we're saying, we can't leave him like that. I said, wherever he's been, in some near, I said, right, he's need to calm down. There was dead little crying. I'm saying, where do you live? It was Alfaz or Al Alfaz Al yes, like, was somewhere like it was it was a few miles of Benidorm anyway. Your dad lived there, didn't he? Yeah, she said my dad's gonna kick off because it's this late. I said, look, I said we get his home. So as we, the the the, the girl was no, crying. Really, they walked off, didn't they? We said you can't leave them like that. Yeah, I said, I said, yeah. So we seen like I said, I said, kick. So we can't leave these like you know. I said, because they're in the state. I said, they, get, they wouldn't be seen again. I said, I said, I said they'll never get home. I said, they've got no money and they're in that state. They had no shoes on, out, did they? No. So we end up like staying with them. They're both arguing. So we're saying, look, get in a taxi. I'll pay for your taxi. But I hardly had the English money left. One I'm, wanted to, and the other one's a yeah. fucking right awkward fucker one. So yeah, but the, the one what was free. So Big Dog was following one, making sure he didn't, we didn't yeah, lose Yeah, I'd him. cut off of the square, didn't yeah. I? And she's talking all about us. So um, I was got the other one. So she, she, she was saying, "Please get me home." I said, "Look, I said we are, but you can't leave your friend." I said, "You cannot leave your friend here." Yeah, but my, my dad's got. I said, "Look, I said phone your dad." I said, "I said I can't." So one attacks big dog. No, so, I was later on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It took about an hour and a half to get these taxis. So we missed all transfers. So what I'll do, I was gonna fucking because the transfer is about four four was early anyway, weren't it? Uh, I think yeah. the fucker does it that long. So you I said, we'll get a taxi. I said, I said, we'll just get a taxi there. We'll catch a flight. And catch, and catch, catch a flight to where, uh, like, they get that thing. So anyway, this one, this, the young kid, the tax big dog. So oh, I... Oh, yeah, she was trying car doors. I said, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, so you haven't got yourself right. Yeah, trying car doors. Yeah, there. she was trying car doors on the wheel. I'm saying, you can't do that. Here, here are you. And like, I'm, I said, here, I'm just trying to help. Yeah, well, fuck it, don't then, like, punches me in the face. Yes, it's <laughs> I'm saying, whoa. Well, no way, yes, I'm just, I've been with you all, up, like, for the last hour, I'm just, I'm just trying to help you. Next minute, bumps in the grummet and the other one. Yeah, so, so, so once, I try to get it, one of the taxi, the other not. fucking carry so, on. So the one scream, so it's walking through the square, right, and she's screaming, crying. So it was making, this look like. Yeah, do you know the summit? So I put my lab on, I didn't show the faces, I faced it the floor. That's right, yeah. I said, look, I said, I'm putting this lab on just, just in case these don't get home. I said, because I'm not getting the blame if anything happens to these two kids. So anyways, he's talking to one. I said, so I goes up to one. He's talking to one. I said, look, 
I said, we're, we're trying to help you. I said, we're going to pay your taxi home. This is about an hour and a half. Seriously? Oh, sorry. She thought we were fol following her. So she's you like... Know, we thought we were weirdos. Yeah. Well. I said, look. So we get to the taxi. I says to the bloke, I said, look. I said, I've got no money. I said, the young kids. I said, can you take these to wherever, Alfaz or whatever it was? I said, I'll give you £10 English. I said, will you do that for me? He went, yeah. So we paid their taxi home. So as we were going, like, going back, that's when the drama started. Oh, no, what did she say? Oh, it's Big Dog. Yeah, she got oh. in the taxi, sat there, and, like, I was just sitting off, said, Big Dog. Oh, it's fucking Big Dog. It's fucking Big Dog, she was shouting. I thought, fuck, he couldn't make it up. Yeah, so then we drove back to the hotel to book the taxi. Well... I let Big Dog tell them yeah. this. Yeah. So driving back, but all day he's been fucking cutting me off and whatever. <laughs> he's been cutting me off. I, I, I was getting stressed out. He's fucking really knocking me. So like, we, he goes up the curb and as he goes down like that, I just like, just put my ribs on. <laughs> smashing smashing the sand me, and, yeah, yeah. Smashing me foot. <laughs> So my foot's yeah. hanging foot off. Man, he's going on my foot, gets off, twists it. <laughs> so, yeah, gets off, gets off the scooter, then rolls it. So my, I, I knew straight away my foot was broke. I fucking knew as soon as I'd done it. All the videos on, on TikTok, my foot, it went black, didn't it? Yeah. It, like, come out like this. Swelled up swelled like up. that, The thing is, I can't fly on this, I can't even walk. I was in that much pain, right? I was fucking screaming with the pain. I said, I can't fly on this, I said, I'm not fly on Molly. So I phoned my partner, I said, look, I said, I broke my foot. What do you mean you broke your foot? I said, well, I fucking broke my foot. Anyways, the flight home that day was like 400 quid, didn't have the money to fly up. So we're going to have to go home like on the fares or something. So we found the cheap flight for the fares there. My foot was hanging on by a ligament. Oh, fuck off. By a ligament. So then a few months after, we goes back. So I says, the big dog, it was like four months, wasn't it? Like, yeah. When was it? Last, when we put back, it was... We hadn't been for like four or five months to bend it on. So I said, when you get over here now, I said, like, you've died off a bit. It'll calm down, it won't be like it was, like everyone fucking wanting pictures, because he, he does get mobbed. So we go to the hotel marina, tries to walk to Morgan's Tavern. How long did it take us? <laughs> we thought it would calm About down. About half an hour. No, fucking... Oh, uh, over 45 minutes, wasn't it? Fucking eight, over an hour, my dad was filming. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. From, yeah no, we going to Waikiki, weren't we? Yeah, Waikiki, from Hotel Marina. Yeah, yeah. My dad, everyone's put a big dog, have a picture, have a picture. Oh, yeah, that's when they come running down the road. Yeah, yeah. chasing you on the road. Yeah, yeah. They going, big dog. So my dad's gone. Grumman, it's fucking... <laughs> took us over an hour, get the fucking air. <laughs> He said, I'm going to, I'm going to sell the I'm, dollar. Yeah, I'm I, fucking I'm up. going. So he was, he, but that was filming. So, so yeah. he done one. So then we thought, oh, he'll, like, you think he'd fizzle out? The next thing, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. So, and now that chicken fried rice video has gone off the scale again. So it's even fucking 10 times worse. But that's not even the biggest video. Like, he's, he's in videos, like. Is the camera's on me, you know? The what? The camera's on me. Yeah, I know. So, what do you mean? Oh, is it, I don't know. Is it, it's like audio. But you should turn the camera around and you'll tell it. No, well, you don't need you, because I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm just asking you a question here. Like, when you thought it all calmed down, how would you, like, it's just gone mad? I'm just, like, turn it around to you when you were telling it, then turn it back to me. Yeah, well, you don't need to hear what, 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 what difference it make. It's your fucking, you talking, like you, your story, I'm just saying, how do you find it now? How do you find your fame in Benidorm? Oh, it's gone off the scale, man. Yeah. But you no, I meant, but I didn't mean that way, I meant that you could have turned it around while you were talking and turned it back around yeah, when I was talking. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference, does it? So, how do you find your fame? I want to mean, how do I want to find it? It's, I don't mind it because I'm meeting like new people and... Making new friends, actually. And a lot of and people. Like a block, yeah. like, I'm getting on with a lot of people. It's yeah. But it has gone up, like really. It has gone mad, yeah. But yeah. like, I'm meeting new people, meeting new friends, and yeah. I'm happy, really. But, but what I was thinking, 
before we go, like this, we're done now, before we go, it helps a lot of people with mental health, and that's what they say, your videos help us yeah. with mental health. It's a laugh. And that's what it's about, so if people ever have, we, we have both suffered with it. If you, if you haven't seen my video, it's on here as well, it's on for an hour. Big dog suffered with it, like he's been almost for four weeks. And just well before that as well yeah and he's like, yeah, yeah a few years before that as well so like our inboxes are always open on tiktok and what what you were talking about earlier on about the, no, let me say yeah yeah i know what i'm saying about what you were talking about earlier on like you tell them hey what i was talking about earlier on what happened to me in my life and what went on in my life don't anyone do it I know I've had, I've had a good life, but I've got nothing. So, like, all like, if anyone watches it and you know your kid or whatever, it's not funny to uh, do what I did, really. It's not, it's, yeah. it's wrong. Just don't do it and just go to school, go to college, yes. do what you do, put your head down and just keep away from... Gangs and whatever. Drugs and drama. And drugs. Yeah, don't be taking drugs. Yeah, it's, so it's it's not good. I know I'm sat, I'm, I'm sat here laughing about it, but when I look back, it's it's wrong. It's years yeah. later when you realise, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's years like, like now. Like now I realise, like, hang on a minute. I, I, if I look back now, and if I could take everything back, yeah, you wouldn't. I would. Yeah. I, 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 wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be me. So, like... Look, look after yourselves. Yeah, like now and watch what you're doing, cause this world's this world's mad now. Yeah, like, like now we won't he, he won't take now. Yeah. Years ago, he fucking take like take anything. Like I've never took any. I've never took anything. No, I don't buy it. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's we have a few cans now on, on a night some arm. But I was young and daft. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. So I was young and daft. Don't you do the same? Just like you said. But that's it. Big dog story. Have, yeah, and have you have your head screwed on? Thanks for listening. Pardon me, and good night. And don't forget, if you're ever in Benidorm, you see Big Dog, you say, hey, Big Dog. Hi. Hi. Hola. Hello. Pop a lot. See you later. Thanks for watching. How do you say goodbye in Spanish? Uh, goodbye in Spanish. Au revoir, ne? No. Ciao. No. How oh, is it now? Is it ciao? Don't know about ciao. Sayonara. No, we're gonna have to find it before we go. We can't leave it on that no. note. Normally you find goodbye, bye. Bye. Well, I'll, I'll translate it. I'm gonna to have to. It's just ciao in it. Google, uh, Spanish. I think you're right with ciao. No, it's not. I don't, I don't think it is. It will be. If it's out with all those, it'll be ciao. Oh, oh definitely ciao. Non-stop chow worse. <coughs> right, good. Bye-bye. Sayonara's Chinese, isn't it? Spanish. To English. English, oh no. English is Spanish, isn't it? Adios. Adios. Amigos. Amigos. Hey, thanks for watching. See you later. Hey, thank you for watching. Hey, was, have a laugh. See you later. Good night. And the reason I never mentioned Julie is because she cheated on me and I don't want to give her any airtime. Don't blame you, big dog. Adios, Julie. Au revoir. Adios. Sayonara. See you later. Tala. Letters. Yeah, you fucking better.